my name is Krzysztof Pirasek, I'm working for IGN Poland, and right now I'm here with our special guest of Pyrkon, Felicia Day, uh, actress, singer, uh, YouTube personality, uh, mother, <laughs> symbol of geek culture everywhere, favorite uh, character from uh, Supernatural, yeah. everything. Thank you. Yeah. That's a very good introduction. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I'm, I'm in love with you for many years. Oh, year, thank so you. This is important for me. Dziękuję. Uh, so I have some questions to you mm -hmm. for our viewers okay. right now. So first of all, what is your favorite game? <gasps> oh, that's a hard uh, question. I think World of Warcraft has had a very big impact on my whole life. Um, so I have to say one of my favorites is World of Warcraft. Mm -hmm. And my other is Skyrim. I think I spent the longest time in World of Warcraft and Skyrim, hours-wise, hundreds of hours. Uh, so those two have had a very big um, part of my life, and I love them very much. Okay, that's good. And from different point of view, what is your favorite uh, TV show right now, what you are watching? Oh, I'm very loving The Expanse. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very good show. It's some of the best sci-fi. I think that it was uh, supposed to be canceled. I know. I'm hoping they find another channel to go to. Yeah, maybe Netflix will get it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Netflix maybe, hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's so many good TV shows on right now. Yeah. It's hard to pick and sometimes it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I log on and I see so many shows I haven't seen. I have to log off because I'm too stressed. <laughs> oh, and is there a uh, TV show right now that you would like to star in? Besides Expanse, probably. Oh, goodness. Well, I am very fortunate to be on The Magicians, which is yeah. one of the shows I've always wanted to be on. And I got to a part this last season, yeah, yeah. which was very fun for me. It's I've an always, amazing show, actually. So. It's a great show. Yeah. yeah, very, very good. And I've always, I always love to be on um, maybe a superhero show. So like The Flash or Supergirl mm -hmm. or even Arrow. That would be very fun for oh, me yeah. because I've never been on a superhero show ever. <laughs> okay. And yeah, you're a, favor a favorite of uh, many exactly. superhero fans. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so what, it would be a good combination. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I would like to ask you, because you are a YouTube, uh, YouTube content creator for a very long period, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's like you are there for... I don't even remember when you started, actually. 11 years ago. Yeah. So what, you, what inspired you, you to actually to start your channel, your uh, content? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, how uh, the YouTube situation changed for you in years uh, since, start, uh, since start till now? When I first started making videos, no one knew what YouTube was. So I started making my show, The Guild, which was about MMO players. Yeah when no one was making anything, especially mm -hmm. scripted shows. So it was very, very, very new and there was mm -hmm. not very much content and there was no content that was more professionally made mm -hmm. for YouTube. Over the years, I created a company called Geek and Sundry yeah. and we did a lot of board game content and they still uh, go on doing all role-playing games and tabletop games. And uh, now I think maybe YouTube is a lot harder to make content for it, the things that succeed on YouTube are not very professionally made. They're more pranking and mm -hmm. very young. And so I um, don't make as many YouTube videos. My company, I'm not with my mm -hmm. company anymore, Geek and Sundry. I make uh, my own stuff now. Yeah. But uh, I'm very glad that, that they keep making the mm -hmm. things that I laid the foundation for. And I think maybe hopefully in the future, YouTube will go back to making bigger and mm -hmm. longer things that are not so uh, uh, More prank. kind of quality content. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to judge people's content. No, but like, yeah. it's like but uh, maybe long term. Oh, yeah. Maybe because uh, I think that's what's popular now is very short term. You forget mm -hmm. about it very fast. And I always want to make content that people can watch years from now and still appreciate. Mm -hmm. And maybe YouTube is not a good place for that right now. But maybe it will turn, yeah. Yeah. And... On the topic of the guild, I still remember when I first saw uh, saw the music video for <laughs> "Do You Want to Date My Avatar?" Yes. And uh, so, what inspired you to create the guild? Uh, the guild was inspired by my times uh, doing World of Warcraft. My mm -hmm. brother made me start playing in 2005 mm -hmm. when it started, and I became very addicted to it and played very, very long hours and probably was very not good with my life. Yeah. But I stopped, and I wanted to create a show for myself as an actress and I wanted to create something I felt very comfortable with and I did not see people talking about gamers the way I knew gamers. Mm -hmm. So that's why I decided to create that show for a television show. Mm -hmm. 
And my friend, Kim Evie, who made videos very early on, she said, we should make it for the internet because that's where gamers go. And that's how that started. So it was kind of accidents every step mm -hmm. of the way, but it became something that was very important to my life and something I love very much, even mm -hmm. now. <laughs> okay. And on the topic of gamers, actually, do you think that gamer stereotype uh, change, has changed during the years? Uh, it evolved in some, some ways? I think so. I think that, you know, back when I was playing, there was one kind of gamer that everyone had in their mind. And I think gaming was very much uh, segregated. Mm -hmm. And I think now there are so many different kinds of gamers. There are a lot more women playing games and I think different kinds of games that are popular. Mm -hmm. I think there's more diversity and less gamer cliche, mm -hmm. which I like because when I was playing, even back then, I was playing with women and older people mm -hmm. and people of all different backgrounds all together playing. And so I hope that keeps going because I think gaming is wonderful, especially when you're playing with people yeah. who you care about. It's a wonderful way to enjoy time together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, maybe do you have something to our younger viewers, uh, girls uh, that will be watching it in the, uh, in the internet later? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe do you have something to say to them, or like some, uh, something uh, to inspire them to keep going, to keep being gamer, to keep mm -hmm. dreaming on doing this professionally or maybe even have the career as your own a little bit? Yeah, I think that uh, sometimes people need encouragement because other people, because you are different from what people think a cliche is, it's hard to persevere and hard to keep going. And peer pressure is very hard. And especially negativity uh, because of the way you look or were born is very hard to overcome and makes you abandon things you might not uh, if you had the strength to keep going. So I would always encourage you to have the strength to keep going mm -hmm. because there is only one of you in this world. And if you change yourself because of people who don't mean anything to you, you are um, not doing yourself justice. And so the best thing in the world you can do is be you and pursue mm -hmm. the things you love and find people to support you. Because the more people who support you, the stronger you will be in the face of an enemy. Great. Yeah. Well, I think that I'm inspired right now with, <laughs> so, by you. And by the way, we are on Percon right now. So it, this is like the biggest convention in Poland connected to fantasy, pop culture and all, and all of this geek, geek stuff. So and right now we are seeing that geek culture is more visible in media, more visible everywhere. Marvel, Marvel is making big budget superhero movies that are earning a lot of money and this is everywhere actually mm -hmm. in every shop you will find the superhero shirts or something connected to that uh, so do you think that this trend will continue to rise uh, do you think that or it will be blown away at some point i think that you if you look at history things are popular and then they become not popular because they are so popular but i think geek culture to me is not about things or the mm -hmm. commerce of it. I think geek culture to me is about outsiders feeling accepted and finding people to support themselves mm -hmm. um, in their interests that might not be mainstream. So I hope always that there is a culture to support people who feel like outsiders and make them feel included um, and make them feel like they don't need to judge other people to make them feel mm -hmm. good about themselves or they, that, that they can withstand bullying from other people. It's very important. Uh, a lot of people don't feel accepted um, for who they are or what they were born as. And I think uh, it's important to know that other people being themselves did not take away from you mm -hmm. or other people. Uh, we can all be ourselves and still have great success in lives. Fantastic. Yeah, it's, you're really inspir inspirational. Like, I was not expecting it in that way. Right <laughs> well, thank you. Right uh, but I have also my uh, my own fun question uh, to you about Supernatural. How it was working on Supernatural set with all these fantastic people and the crew that know each other for many years are actually right now. Yeah, Supernatural is very, very close to my heart. It is a wonderful set to be on. When I first started, it was in season seven. Yeah. And I decided to take the job because even though my company was launching and it was very busy for me, I thought maybe the show would get canceled mm -hmm. before I could work on it. So I had to take the job then. <laughs> and now we are almost twice as many seasons, yeah. twice as many seasons, and it's still going. And I am back on the show. Or, I mean, spoiler, you might want to edit that out. But it's very, very um, heartwarming to be a part of a family like that. And I think that's 
uh, important. I think people love shows where you can see on screen that kind of family and it translates um, in real life as the fans feel like family. And that's, those are the things that I love being a part of and I'm very, very grateful to be a character that inspires people um, so in that way. My last question, we are in Poland right now. This is your first time in Poland. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your first time on Perkon. How are you finding our festival and our country? Perkon is so interesting. It's very different from other conventions I've been to and I love it. I think it celebrates a lot of different culture, things in geek culture that is underrepresented, like LARPing and tabletop games and role-playing games. And these are interests that I have that are not so mainstream, that are not as celebrated mm -hmm. um, in the States. And I love it. I also love Poland. My grandmother is Polish. Mm -hmm. And so she uh, was very excited I would come here and see where her parents uh, came from. And I think uh, I would love to come back and see more cities in Poland one day. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dan, and I hope that you will come back. Great. Maybe even the next year. I would love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Felicia. very much.